Hi family, this is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy, and I am your favorite colon hydrotherapist that practices the art of internal detoxification through the use of colon hydrotherapy herbs and natural living. And so I want to share something with you about um, who do I want to entitlement and how people feel very entitled to your space and your energy and your time and your business and they want it the way that they want it. And, you know, if you don't give it to them the way that they want it, and my mind you, it's your business, your service, and they're coming in telling you how you should do your service for them, right? So oftentimes, I'm just going to be very honest with you. Um, I'm a solo practitioner, right? Not that that's either here nor there. I've been a solo practitioner for over 16 years. I have zero interest, zero interest in having staff because I live in the state of California. And if you are a business owner in a state of California, you would understand certain legal risks are just not necessary, right? So people say, oh, you should have the staff, you should have this, you should have that, you should have this. And that's how I know that these people have no idea about what it means to be in business, love. Even if you do, let's say, um, actually, you can't even do that anymore. You can't do contract work anymore in the state of California as a massage therapist or anything like that. It's now illegal. You can't do it. And most people don't know that because it's not in business because 71% of people are walking around with their avatar are and 29% of people are walking around wanting to know the truth. So with that being said, I had some, a couple of people actually, um, I want to say about two people, well, there was two people, a couple, two people. Um, we've been playing phone tag throughout the day. Now, mind you, I know that you work, you're an adult, Well, I probably shouldn't assume because you probably don't work. I don't know. But I'm very respectful of people's time and I try to call around the time, like if I know that you're working I'll probably call around like your lunch break. I won't call you at 5 p.m. or between 5 and 6 because I know that you're probably shaking and moving. So I try to do it relatively around the time. But this is what I do understand about my business is this. I know that every phone call that I receive is going to take approximately about 15 minutes because everybody has the same questions. Everybody has the same concerns. Everybody wants to talk it out for a second because, again, what I do is not a regular service-based business. It's just not. It's not like you can just come in and get a colonic and with no conversation, no consultation, no prep. A colon therapy session, at least with me, does not work that way. I had somebody come in and pull on my door and pull on my door and pull on my door and finally, when I answered, he's like, why is your door locked? I said, I'm sorry, do you pay the rent here at this office? He was like, no. I said, so you don't need an answer to that question. How can I help you? Well, I want to get a massage. We don't offer massage here. Have a lovely day. Well, massage is on your sign. The massage that you, sir, are looking for, we do not offer here. And even if we did, I still would say we don't offer it here. And I am in my complete right to say we don't offer it here. Again, have a lovely day. Right? You cannot force anybody to be of service to you. You can't do that. So I had another person reach out to me and she was like, well, you know, um, actually, this was a man. I actually said, well, I, I made another appointment because I just couldn't get ahead of you. Okay, enjoy your session, love. Have a beautiful one. Why, 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 why,
I'm not going to apologize for being 100% available to the paying customer that is in front of me. I'm not apologizing for that. I'm not going to apologize for making sure that I get back to you in a timely manner, but more importantly, that you have my undivided attention and I am not multitasking while I'm assisting you with your questions because people do that. Businesses do that. They'll be in the background doing all kinds of stuff and you're like, hello, are you helping me? Mm-mm. So again, the level of intention and care that I have with my business is very different. And I understand that some people have never been serviced like this. So they think that the way that I run my business is subpar until they have a service with me. And then they're like, oh, I get why you do this. Here's the thing, love. I don't have to explain to nobody why and how I run my business. I've been in business for 16 plus years. I've seen a lot of practitioners come and go. Some of them have worked in my office. Some of them I've trained. Some of them I went to school with. Some of them I met in business because they had their business in the same shopping complex as me or we rolled in the same community. Them people are no longer standing. Let me just tell you, they ain't here. So what I'm trying to say is this, please understand that I will not chase clients. I don't, I don't have to, it's not necessary. And if you feel like you need to go to another practitioner, love, that is your right. You are in alignment. Please let me, matter of fact, let me get out your way so that you can go ahead and make a beeline over there. Because I know for a fact, what you're getting over there is nowhere near what I offer to my fabulous clients and I'm so grateful for that come back and return on a regular basis, okay? So when you are working with a practitioner, the way in which they get down, how they do one thing is how they're gonna do everything. I just had a client, actually it wasn't a client, it was somebody who came to my door, but I was working with a client. My door is locked, I only work one person at a time. So whoever that is, they can call me or they can wait, it's not an emergency. I don't have an emergency type business. I have a service-based business that you prep for. Yes, I do have a storefront. When I'm sitting at the front door or the front office, I'll leave the door open. When I'm in the back working, that door is locked. There's no reason for it to be open, none at all. There's no reason for me to run multiple rooms in my office. That's not the intention and what I want to offer to my clients. I offer my clients high quality one-on-one -on -one transformational attention, light, service, empowerment, colon therapy, pouring into high vibrational frequency. You cannot do that with multiple people at one time. Does that make sense? Now, with that being said, I do not mind working with you. When you're ready, you call me. Let me know. One person was like, well, you know, do I have to call you like a month in advance? That's up to you. It's up to you, love. Everything is always in divine alignment, regardless if you are trying to push it or not. Well, I've been calling you for a week, and I've also been returning your phone call for a week. So I don't understand why you are talking to me as if I have not returned your phone call the same day. This is not an average-based business, and I'm very clear about who I am as a practitioner. Hence the reason why I'm still here, right? So with that being said, feel free to call me during my business hours, and I would love to be of service to you and share what I know about colon hydrotherapy. My phone number and contact information is Moya, M-O-Y-A, bodycare.com. That's my website. The phone number is 562-682-0818. My private office is located in Torrance, California. Please know that I am a solo practitioner and I do not return missed phone calls. I had somebody call me on Monday. She's like, I've been calling you and calling you. Nobody answers the phone. I said, did you leave a message? She's like, no. Well, that could be your problem. <laughs> 
Anyway, happy Friday. <laughs> Love you all.